All right. Now, how can I use that distributive property when I have two binomials? So I can use it by writing this way. So I have the first term here, which is x, and I'm going to have to multiply it by the second term. So I'll have x times the 2x plus 1. And I have the 4 times the 2x plus 1, right? So I have the x, and it's going to be multiplied by this, and the 4, and it's going to be multiplied by this, okay? So you see now I can use the distributive, distributive property. Look at this. x times 2x is 2x squared. x times 1 is just 1x. Then I can move on to my next term. 4 times 2x plus 8x. 4 times 1 Now, question for you guys. Did you see these four terms in the table above? Yeah. Should you have? Yeah. Because I'm still solving the same question here in yeah. different ways. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, can I leave it like this, or is there an extra step that I have to do? We can simplify. I have to like simplify. Like yeah. That's right. So I have to collect like terms, and my like terms are the one x plus 8x, which gives me... 9x plus 4. Um, um, what did you do with that x again? Which x? The one x plus the 8x? This one? No, the second one. Here? Yeah, why should it? So I multiplied the x by the 2x. You see how we did with the, with the top way example? Right? You're going to distribute. So you're going to multiply this by both terms inside the bracket. What's what? So x times 2x is 2x squared. Oh. x times 1 is 1x. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't want to stop that second one. This one? No, no, no. This one? Oh, OK. So the first one, guys, at the back. So the first one, I have written the first term in the first bracket and multiplied it by the whole second bracket. You don't have to use this math. This is another method for you. You don't have to use it, okay? But you're probably going to use the last method that I'm going to teach you. Oh. Okay? But this is just so you see that I'm taking this and I'm multiplying it by this whole thing, and then I'm taking this and I'm multiplying it by this whole thing. I'm just writing everything. Yeah, just write everything down. But I feel like the last method is the method that we're going to use the most. Yes. Yeah. X by X is X squared. Okay, I see. Okay, so what I did is I took this and I multiplied it by this whole thing, right? And then I took this and I multiplied it by this whole thing. Are you guys okay if I move to the next one? That's the final answer. Does it match the previous answer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the method that you're going to be hearing hear me refer to other than the distributive property is called the FOIL method. Okay? And that's the method that I will be using in class. I won't be using the chart. I won't be using the distributive uh, property to expand using the distributive property. I'm going to be using the FOIL method. Now, where does the word FOIL come from? Or the acronym FOIL come from? It comes from first, outer, inner, last. Okay? So if you look at first, outer, inner, last, first, outer, inner, last, that makes the acronym So that means you're going to multiply the first by the first. 
the outer by the outer, the inner and the lot. Okay, so let's see how that's gonna work. So in each bracket, you have a first term. So this is your first term here. So in the first bracket, x is your first term. In the second bracket, 2x is your first term. So you're going to multiply the x by the 2x. Right? What does that give me? What's x times 2x? OK. Now, followed by the outer terms. So your outer terms are the two outer the terms that are all from the outside. Okay. What are your two outer terms in this? What would be your two outer term in these two brackets? X and 1, right? So I'm going to have to multiply the x by the y. What's that? 1x. One 1x. One so plus 1x.